I am here with the winner of the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure 2018 main event, Maria Lampropoulos. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was so fun to watch you even on the bubble when you had King 2 and you took down and you made your opponent fold queens. You were just playing so well, so aggressive the whole time. I'm so glad to see you take it down. At the final table, Sean Buchanan had a very big chip lead and yet you won three flips in a row to take it from him. Tell me a little bit about those flips and how you ended up taking the tournament down. Yes. Well, uh, the first one was um, a flip versus Korai. Uh, it was so hard to go there. <laughs> I don't know, perhaps for me and not for Robal, but I had uh, around uh, 13 big lines and a half, and he went to lean, and I had a king eight of and well, I was tanking a lot because I asked for them and then I called and it was versus Quinten Suited. I won that flip, I double up. Then he lost uh, his Olim his versus uh, the, the runner-up, runner yes. And then I won to him to flips during the heads up. It was one I, I limb, he won to limb with a pair of fours and I had ace eight, I called. And then the other was uh, he limp, and I went selling with 10, seven suited, and he called with a uh, king five. And I won the flips, <laughs> finally. Yes, I am very happy. So you're deep in this tournament. Every decision is very important, but people, a lot of players were calling the clock on you and you know giving you a shot clock. Does. Did you feel rushed at all when people did that? No, no, no. I understand. Um, I try to do my best. I am not a professional player. Everybody knows. Um, I, I try to do because for all the situations are new for me, so I have to think a lot. You know, perhaps uh, some years later it it could be easier. Uh, but now for me it's so hard. Uh, to have a decision in a quickly way, well, so sometimes they ask for time, not always, sometimes, but I understand and I respect that, but I, I do what I can. <laughs> well, it seems like the time, you make the right decisions with the time you're given, so it, you're using your time wisely, you're not faking it, you're not tanking uh, to stall to get into the money, you know, you're doing it to actually consider these decisions. So when you were calling, um, the king, the queen, when he had queen ten, and you called. What did you think he had? What made you end up calling? What was what was going through your mind when you were taking the time to make that decision? It, a lot of things, a lot of things, because in in poker, all the small, uh, particular, I don't know, movement or the things that you do, um, then all changed. So uh, the the time before. Um, the runner up asked for time. I called twice. The, 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 the twice that they asked time, I called. So when he asked for time, I thought, oh my God, perhaps he's stronger. So because he's wanting me to call. But um, I suppose that that was the, the right decision and, and I called. Yes. <laughs> well, I know you haven't been feeling very well. But are you going to be doing anything to celebrate tonight? Yes, yes, we will celebrate all together uh, with Mustafa, uh, his girlfriend, so sweet, so beautiful. <laughs> we will go uh, with, with his friends uh, to celebrate. Well, enjoy. You have a lot to celebrate with this big win. And I don't think you can call yourself a recreational player. You have $2 million in winnings in two years. You're very close to being a professional poker player. <laughs> Thank you very much, but I have to prove a lot. And thanks uh, to all for the patience, and I am very happy. Thank you. Well, we are really happy to watch you win. And of course, we will see Maria here next year as she won the Platinum Pass, and we will see her compete in the $25,000 free roll tournament.